Hi, I'm going to talk about nesting in and around and, and particularly nesting open contours. And uh, in the latest version of Enroute, uh, I'm working in 5.1 build 43. Uh, there's a slightly new capability when it comes to handling open contours, so I'll talk about that also. Uh, but first, if you if you uh, are using you know any almost any ver previous version of Enroute, the way that it handles uh, open contours is is pretty simple. Um, Basically, what it does is it is it uses the bounding box for the open contour when it comes time to nest, and uh, that's with any of the nesters in and route. It'll it'll use a bounding box, and and that's true if it's a standalone contour like this, or if it's part of a of a of another group. And and most of the time, really, in the great majority of cases, that's that's not a it's really not an issue because most open contours that are that are part of some object to be machined are typically are typically straight lines and so so the the bounding box for each individual contour is is relatively small and so it it doesn't interfere with the the nesting properties of the object too much um let's do something slightly different. Let's say we've got a, and and this case came up here relatively recently. Let's say we've got something like this, and uh, I'm going to weld it together. So I've got a, a part like this, and then I've got another another uh, contour, say an open contour that that does something like this, and it's you know even inside the bigger part. And let's weld it together, or sorry, group it together. And then when it comes time to nest, because it's using the the bounding box for the for the open contour, this portion of the of the area is not available <clears throat> for nesting or not available for fitting other parts in there. And so that's a limitation in terms of of true shape nesting if that's what I'm trying to accomplish with a part that's a little more complex. You know, relatively simple solution would be to break this open contour into two pieces uh, and then that issue goes away, but um, you know, in sort of in the interest of of adding capability, what we what we have made available in Enroute is the ability to uh, recognize this situation essentially and and not treat the the open contour let's break that apart here you know not look at that and treat it solely as a as a rectangle as the bounding box of that open contour and so in order to accomplish that you have to you have to do make a change in uh, in routes preferences and um, this is something that is sort of out of the ordinary enough that it's it's not really part of the interface of en route. Um, you could argue that it should be probably, but but it's not at the moment. And so if we get up into uh, WordPad, and look at the preferences, and I'm going to go down to find the word nesting and <clears throat> down at the bottom here we have options this nest open contours and and this is not a yes or no thing there's actually three options a uh, zero would say it, when nesting disregard open contours don't don't make them part of the the nest and so if you have just open contours that you're wanting to nest that's not a good option but if if your open contours are always within your closed contours because nesting works essentially using uh, containers or closed contours uh, then then options zero is is possibly a good option because it just takes open contours out of the equation option one is sort of the traditionally uh, used option for uh, en route in the past where where it uses the the bounding box of the open contour for 
nesting purposes and then and then option two is sort of the new option which says rather than rather than using the bounding box of the open contour I'm going to uh, I'm going to actually offset the open contour and then use that offset in my nesting process so I'm going to make that change and uh, need to get out of and route get back into and route to to make that change take effect and then we can look at what those what that happens with that okay so now I'm back in and route and uh, I made the change to the preferences to uh, the nesting preferences to, to choose option two for that open contour nesting preference that we looked at before and uh, so I'll just show you quickly with an open contour kind of the difference if I go to nest before what it did remember was a, a bounding box to represent that open contour now what it does is it actually creates an offset contour uh, container to use for the for the open contour so that's that's the representative of that open contour in the in the nesting object that that gets used for nesting and uh, so that that sort of changes the the way that open contours might get nested and uh, you know sometimes that's probably better and sometimes it maybe isn't better and so so let's look at let's look at an object here and and I'm gonna weld that together and now uh, let's look at a an open contour and, and you know this may seem a little far-fetched but it's actually pretty representative of of uh, a part that that someone uh, has needed to cut and using some open contours for cutting grooves in the part and so if I if I group that together uh, before because of the open contour it would have used the bounding box of the open contour and so this portion of the of the area would not have been available for nesting and so now if I look at it you see that that it has used that that offset from the open contour and rather than the bounding box and so now it does not exclude this area from the nesting area of the object so so that just gives nesting the ability to to utilize that area rather than than not utilize the area and so let's try it here So, so there you see, you see the two objects that were able to be nested together essentially and fit in there. Whereas, if that area would have been excluded, that would not have been possible for for these objects. So, um, that's that's option two uh, with the the open contour nesting parameter in the in route preferences and um, gives a you know a, a pretty nice range of of options for utilizing open contours and and letting the user decide what opt which method you know ignore them don't take them into account use the bounding box of the open contour which which honestly is probably the right solution most of the time and then for certain situations when open contours are going to have a shape that might get in the way of nesting uh, option two which allows the contours to be offset and uh, and for that to be taken into account so that's nesting with open contours